impossible to live up to it. All right, we're set for tonight's main event. Once again, we send you to the ring and Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the HBO Boxing After Dark main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO Junior Featherweight Championship of the World. Also on the line, the vacant WBC Diamond Bell. Presented by Bob Arum's Top Rank Boxing and Taken Promotions. Sponsored by Takate. Con Character. Sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission, Chairman John Frierson. WBO President, Francisco Paco Barcarcel. At ringside, the three judges scoring will be Ralph McKnight, Carlos Ortiz, and Fritz Werner. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, working for the 141st time as a world title referee, Raul Cai Sr. And now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner with head trainer, Yuchi Kasai. Official weight, 121.8 pounds. His professional record, 39 victories, including 24 knockouts with four defeats and three draws. And he is undefeated for the last 16 fights over a span of eight years. From Amagasaki, Hyogo, Japan, the challenger, former WBC, super bantamweight champion of the world, Hoshioki. Ishioka! And fighting out of the red corner with his head trainer, former world champion Robert Garcia. Wearing red and officially weighing 121.6 pounds. His professional record, 30 fights, 29 victories, including 18 knockouts with only one defeat, and he is undefeated over the last 11 years. From General Santos City, Philippines, the three division, three-time world champion, the reigning defending WBO Junior Featherweight Champion of the World, the Filipino Flash, Nonito Bonito, champion. Gentlemen, I gave you instructions on stairs. Remember, protect yourselves at all times. Keep punches up. Remember, bone here on up. So punches here are fine. Okay? Shake hands. Good luck to both of you. In our first fight in Rio San Alvarado, you saw the best of the blue collar, blood and guts warrior side of boxing. In this fight, Especially with Nemito Donaire, but also with Nishioka. We expect to see the sublime, the upper echelon of Ready. skill Ready. and speed Ready. and power that the sport has to offer. Round number one begins. Each boxer with six first round knockouts in their careers. Donaire, nice and quick. With that left hand. See Nishioko already over respecting that left hook by putting his left hand up so high that Donnell won't even see a shot to throw the hook. That should open up Donnell's straight right and his overhand right though. Well, what are some of the things that Toshiaki Nishioka needs to do in the early part of this fight to get a rhythm going in the direction that he needs it to be? But the one thing he's doing wrong right now is he's not jabbing at all. Just keeping that hand stationary is going to allow Nonito to have basic target practice at it. That was a jab. And after the table center of Rios Alvarado, the fans 
here in Carson, California, I have no interest in any fainting. <laughs> <laughs> or posing and just holding your hands up. These are two highly skilled fighters, but they both scored plenty of knockouts. Donaire more of the one-punch variety, but I've seen Nishioka get guys in trouble with one shot, too. Nishioka's been down three times in his career. Donaire has not. Funny for the fans in attendance, it's almost like how could you expect to match what you just saw at least to start? This fight will open up. I mean, I don't think that I would have taken a main event behind those two. <laughs> <laughs> Nishioka believes Donaire's left hook is what he has to watch for. Donaire believes Nishioka's open for that shot, at least heading into this fight. But let's not forget against Sidorinko and other top fighters, Donaire has starched him with a straight right hand. Yeah, well, what Donaire should do right now is throw a straight right hand to the body some. Since Nishioko has that left hand, uh, has his right hand so high on his face trying to guard the left hook, make him reach for the right hand, then hit him with an overhand right. The combination from Donaire fell short. Nishioka, to this point, according to CompuBox, has thrown a whopping seven punches in the round to Donaire's 39. He's just trying to get comfortable and get close to Donaire and see what he sees before he opens up. Here we see one of the reasons Donaire's been less than scintillating recently. His opponents are so wary of his power, they don't give him a lot to hit. He has to start going to that showboat mode to try to create openings somewhere to bait his opponent. End of round one. Look, look, he's got his right hand glued up here because he knows that he knows that left hook is coming. Let's break him down a little by little with a straight right to the body and upstairs. Okay? Yes. That way he's gonna start drop that we start dropping his hand, alright? Okay? That jab, just keep touching it. Upstairs, downstairs, jab, 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 and set up the straight right. Down the middle. I see the left hook. Okay? Yeah. I want to throw the left. Okay, watch out for the left. Okay. Good. You're doing good. Water. Boy, it's hard to fathom that a guy could get through the first round of Nishioka's skill level and only throw eight punches. Well, he's out there trying to fill out the process right now. He hasn't fought a fighter that it, that probably with the skill level of a Donito Donaire, so, you know. And Robert Garcia, the trainer of Donaire, was thinking along with you, Roy. He said, look, he's got that right hand glued up to his head. Let's throw a straight right hand. That's there. exactly right. You got to open up something with the left hand. But Nishioka's used to winning. It's been eight years since he lost. But he is 36 years old. He contemplated retirement before this fight. Omar Narvaez was undefeated with a bunch of title defenses. He wouldn't open up against Donaire. And Nishioka so far seems intimidated by Donaire's, Donaire's power. Yeah, but he's waiting to get a good shot in before he throws anything. He's kind of smart like that. He's trying to catch Donaire in the middle of a punch and try to land his own big shot to see what happens. Very, very tentative right now. And he can be a high volume punching fighter. Yeah, but in this fight, he's more worried about Donaire's power. So he's respecting it so much that he's not punching. There's a good jab from Nishioka. And Nishioka, when he throws more punches, it'll tend to be as the fight heats up and his conditioning starts to show. I think it's a smart tactic that he's using because he's not enabling no, 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 no. Lolito no, no, no. to land the left hook. Don't push his head down. That you cause that, but okay. Don't no push his head down. Let's go. You okay. Let's go. Shake hands. I don't know if they bang yeah, knees. And Donaire Boston. flexing that right knee. Roy, 
you know, Donaire's got all the weapons and all the tools and all the speed, but Nishioka's fighting so defensively. He's part of Nishioka's thinking here to get him frustrated and make him make a mistake where I can counter it. Exactly. Make him make a foolish mistake. Make him get over anxious because he knows that the crowd now wants to see activity. That's what they seen in the first fight. So if you can make him make a foolish mistake, you can try to counter and catch him with a big shot. And that's what Nishioka is trying to do right now. Yeah, Nishioka has landed another good jab. In spite of what Donaire says, that he's only worried about the guy in front of him and all this, I think he's aware of his pound-for-pound -pound status. He's nearing the top. He's aware of guys like Andre Ward and spectacular performances and how he needs his own big performances to stay in that conversation. So when the fight is dull, he wants to do something to enliven it. Stop. And that's the end of round two. On a gorgeous night. Once in a while. Southern California. Step in with the double jabs and look. His guard is right here, right there, look, right here. So you could land the, the, right, the right hook over behind his gloves, okay? You see, you know what I'm talking about, right? He's right here. So land the right hook behind his glove. Once in a while, not all the time. I don't want him to catch it. Do it once in a while, and you'll get him, okay? That's a nice short one, a nice short one. Easy, easy. You're doing good. Be patient. You're doing good. So we begin round number three for Nonito Donaire and Toshiaki Nishioka. In the last round, according to CompuBox, Donaire's connects were all power shots, 11 of 27. Steps in with that right hand that Robert Garcia asked for. Another there, right hand. There's a shot that I've been looking for all night because he's trying to move his left hand, I mean his right hand to the fan. No, it's his left hand. But he's not moving that right hand at all. So go over the left hand, the one that he is moving. When Donaire steps to his right and achieves that outside position with his foot, that, that straight right hand is very difficult to defend for Nishioka. And Nishioko is partially blinding him own self, his own self with that right hand staying so close to his head. Because he needs to defend against the left hook? Well, he's afraid of the left hook. <laughs> when we asked him in the fighter meeting what was Donaire's best weapon, he said, <laughs> left hook. Roy, when you were arguably the best fighter in the world, there was no argument at the time that I recall. But when you had a guy in front of you that was playing defensive like this. How, how did you not get frustrated? How does Denaire combat against getting frustrated? Well, it's very difficult not to get frustrated, but there was one time I had an actual softball in front of me that did this to me. So what I started doing was beating his right shoulder. And I beat his right shoulder so bad that they had to stop the fight because of injury to his right shoulder. So if I was Donaire, I'd be hooking his right shoulder right now until he takes it down so I can see the chin. Let's see if Donaire does some of that. He has used some more of those lead right hands. Nishioka just not, he's not throwing any punches. He's thrown 11 so far on the round. Well, he's fighting very smart. He's not trying to get caught with a shot. He's trying to wait for a great opportunity to catch Donaire or make Donaire want to appease to the crowd. And if he can make him do that and Donaire opens up, then maybe he can land a good lucky shot. Yeah, we already know that a a world-class fighter, a belt holder, a champion, if he's intent on neutralizing Donaire, can last the distance with him. So far, from Nishioka, I was expecting a little bit more of a will to try to see if he could actually win the fight. To reset, throws that right hand, misses with his right cross. And we come to the final seconds of round Stop number three. Nonito Donaire, pound for pound, one of the best in the world. 
Born in the Philippines, moved to the U.S. at age 10, a star in his homeland of the Philippines, now dabbling in a movie career. It's called Agpalada Ang Nagbuot, means our faith decides. It's about a story of, of you know what a lot of people go through, you know the hardship of life, you know, and I, I really believe in that story. I mean, there's comedy, there's there's drama, but mainly the story of it all is is, is how people just get through hardship. The most difficult thing for me was the crying scene. You need to be a different person for it, you know. You need to be this person, and to be able to cry, I had to come up with my own ways of saying things. So I took it and I was able to do it. I enjoy making the movies, you know. It's something that, you know, I, I like doing, you know. It's something that I enjoy doing and I would definitely do it again in the future. And there is wife, Rachel Donaire, anxiously watching ringside as Nonito begins round number four. And not only is her husband a champion, but soon to be movie star in the Philippines. As we check in with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. Okay, Bob, I've got a three to nothing. 30 to 27, Nonito Donaire. I mean, as I see this fight, he's doing all the punching. The problem with Nishioka is he, he's not punching enough. And you know, Bob, I've been watching that weird right hand all night. You know, the way he holds that right hand. It's very strange. He doesn't seem to snap it an awful lot. You know, and I don't see where it's a big uh, uh, defensive uh, maneuver, you know, keeping it that high. I think you ought to keep it at a normal level and throw it more. Three to nothing, Donaire. Can't argue with that, Harold. And they're just kind of going about his business right now. Trying to find that opening to really hurt Nishioka, but Nishioka not giving him any opportunities. Nishioka, it seems, came into this fight believing that Donaire was better than him, and I guess Donaire has done nothing to dissuade him. Roy, from your time in the ring, when you were in a guy that was looking to survive, and you hear the crowd whistling and hooting, you know it's not for you, per se, but does it affect you? Uh, as a disciplinarian, no, it doesn't affect you, because you know that your job is to remain disciplined and do what it is that you train to do. So Donaire right here is landing some good body shots, as you see, landing a good straight right to the head every now and then, and that's all he can get. So just take what you can get until the store opens up. up with a combination there. Nishioka back to that defensive shell. There's the hand speed of Donaire. What you have to remember is that uh, Nishioka hasn't lost in eight years. He didn't go that long without a loss by being stupid. He's very smart, very uh, effective with his movement, and he's very defensive. He's trying to avoid the left hook by all means necessary. Donaire steps in with a combination. Punch is just starting to show an effect on Ishioka's face. Yeah, especially his right eye. Stop at the bell. He's swelling underneath that right eye. Stop. Another clearly controlled round for Nonito Donaire. October 23rd, catch the premiere of the next installment of Real Sports for a profile on former football star turned daytime talk show host Michael Strahan. November 17th, our four-part series 24-7. Pacquiao Marquez kicks off. We'll begin the run-up to the fourth fight between Manny Pacquiao and Juan Manuel Marquez with a look back at the three fights that forged one of boxing's greatest rivalries. Toshiaki Nishioka's wife, Miho, sitting ringside. We asked Toshiaki about Miho attending his fight. She said she gets nervous, but she made the trip. Not a lot to get excited about to this point. 
Let's box. Let's box. So we begin round number five of the schedule, 12 rounder. And Nino Donaire opens up with a combination. I do think what we're seeing here from Donaire is he's been good to his word, Roy, about going back to boxing. And if the knockout comes, so be it. Um, last couple fights, it looked like he tried to force things a little more. And so he didn't have the success he's having tonight against a survival-minded fighter. Yeah, you're right there, and uh, the only thing you got to remember is that Nishioko is not worried about nothing but trying to land one power shot. So by him boxing like he's doing, it's enabling him to build up a heck of a lead on the scorecards, and that's what you want to do in case something does happen. Nishioko landed his jab, Donaire followed with the right hand. We have not seen the frustration from Donaire that we've seen in some of his other fights. Triples up the jab, shoots the right to the body, steps in with a power shot that just missed. So far, he's totally outclassing a top fighter, you know, as usual. Watch your feet, guys. Watch your feet. But Nishioko is forcing him to dig in his arsenal a little bit to throw combinations that he normally doesn't throw, making him change up the combinations because of that right hand staying so high up on his head. So Donnell can't hit him with the first punch or the second punch. Usually he hits him with the third or the fourth punch. Unless it's a pop shot like that right hand was. That's a good jab from Nishioka. Donaire steps in with a combination. Good jab by Donaire. No, no, no. Pick him up. Pick him up. Nishioka okay. low with that punch. Sign of frustration. I'm just happy he threw a punch. <laughs> One thing that Nishioka is doing a little bit more in this round. He's moving forward a little bit more. Tried to step in with his left Stop hand. End of round five. Use your feet. Hey. Move. Breathe. 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 Don't switch it over there. Why don't you get the crowd, okay? You keep doing what you're doing. See, we the jab, right hook. Keep your hands in a nice, strong position, okay? So I'm going to drop them a little bit towards the other line. Keep your hands up, just come with me. Take it off. Punch off from there, okay? Hands in good position. That's how you're going to land all your combinations. Why don't you let them go, Nonito? It's all you. Let them. Back in the corner, sir. Well, Nishioka threw a fight high 21 punches in the last round, according to Compu Box. Landed six of them. Donaire hit on 11 of his 29 power shots as we begin round number six. A 22 pounder throwing 21 punches in a round. Not going to get it done. It's called survival. But then what's his point, boy? The, to say that, well, I didn't get knocked out by the left hand? This is by the left hook. Because I wouldn't be surprised if the left uppercut still doesn't catch him later on in the fight. But he won't get caught by the left hook no time soon. See that left uppercut right there? Mm -hmm. That's on, the shot because he's cue. holding that right hand up. On cue.
Lanier backs away from that left hand. <laughs> that time, Donaire missed with the uppercut. Nishioka comes back with the left. Good left uppercut. Yeah, from the look on Donaire's face, he's glad when Nishioka opens up because it affords him targets, you know, counter-punching opportunities. Great right hand by Donaire. Nishioka landed the left hand of the body. Nishioka seems like he's starting to warm up a little bit. Well, he certainly had ample time to warm up. <laughs> We're in round six. It's cold outside. Nishioka down. Short shot inside. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Walk to me. Donaire steps in. There it is again. Trying oh. to finish him. Left hand from Nishioka. Combination from Nishioka. Donaire hooks inside. Short left again from Donaire. Right hand over the top, straight right hand. Nishioka says, bring it on. Left hand from Donaire. Now Nishioka showing something. End of six. Why is he so mad? Good work. Breathe. She goes that. Hey. 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 Good job. See, because the Shoka's holding that left hand, right hand so high on his head, Donaire got smart and came under it, and it came right between both hands with the left uppercut. Beautiful shot to sit Nishioka down for a second. Once again, you see him with the right hand high, and Nonito comes right up under that right hand with a beautiful left uppercut to the chin. I, th I think part of that is Nishioka got more aggressive that round. And so there were so Donaire, there was just more heavy leather exchange, and that's what happens when you exchange with Donaire. All right, let's check in with Harold Letterman as we begin round seven. Okay, Bob, boy, we started to get a fight there for a minute. <laughs> Six to nothing. 60 to 53, Nondito Donaire. Yeah, you know, he won the first five rounds easily. The six rounds, just like Max said, Nishioka opened up and got dropped. You got to give Nonito Donaire an extra point in round six for knocking the man off his feet. Six to nothing. 60 to 53, Nonito Donaire. I like what I saw from... Nishioka after the knockdown he figured look I'm gonna lose anyway or get hit hard anyway might as well make a fight of it that's exactly right and he really threw some pretty good punches at Donaire while Donaire was trying to get him some really good punches yeah that's a very dangerous time for a fighter so after a waltz through five and a half rounds Nishioka decided to open it up Right hand from Donaire, Nishioka steps in with the left, Donaire counters with his left. They've both taken each other's bombs very well since the knockdown. Good body shot. Yeah, after he doubled up with the jab, did Donaire. Donaire thumps that right hand. And see, even though Nishioka is blocking oh. the punches, Flash of heads there as Nishioka tried to throw his left. No problem. Let's go. Box. Even though Nishioka is blocking those punches, he's feeling the true power behind him. And it's causing him to stay in that defensive stance.
Jab from Nishioka. Donaire jumped in with his power shot. And this jab from Nishioka. Yeah, he does have quick hands. You can understand why he hasn't lost in eight years. Quick hands and some pop. You think those headbutts are accidental, Roy? Well, you know, when we have a softy and a left and a right handed fighter to fight, usually we do have accidental headbutts. So, yes, I think that was totally accidental. There's that jab again. Ten seconds, stop at the bell. Stop at the bell. Stop. And of round number seven. Boxing after dark from Home Depot Center in Carson, California. There's Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. working for Mexican TV along with Marco Antonio Barrera. There's Gennady Golovkin, who recently seen on. Boxing after dark. Mikey Garcia, one of the top featherweights in the world. Checking out the action ringside. Great trainer, Freddie Roach. And there is Oscar Valdez, Mexican Olympian, checking things out. Valdez performed very well in the London Games. Condition good? Yeah? Okay, let's go. Okay, let's start picking it up. Let's go. Let's go. Rachel Donair checking out her husband Nonito. Toshiaki Nishioka been busier over the last couple of rounds. As we begin round number eight, scheduled for 12. Nishioka down in the sixth. Bob Papa, Roy Jones Jr., Max Kellerman, and Harold Letterman ringside for HBO's Boxing After Dark. Nonito Donair. Putting his 122 pound belts on the line against Toshiaki Nishioka of Japan. Nishioka has not lost in eight and a half years. 39, 4, and 3 with 24 knockouts. Donair 29 and 1 with 18 knockouts. Pound for pound, one of the best in the world. He doesn't have an impenetrable defense. Roy, you've compared him to you in your prime, and he has some. He reminds me also of Sugar Ray Leonard a bit in the sense that Ray would mix it up, and so you could hit him even at his best. And Donaire seems to me the same way. Yeah, they don't move a lot on their feet like I did. I use my legs as my primary source of defense. They don't. They use their hands and their shoulders as their primary source of defense. So they definitely are capable of being hit more when they open up the punch. I was less likely to be hit because I had the speed of a cat, but I used my legs as my defensive weapons. But as a result, they were also really crowd-pleasing. Ray Leonard was really crowd-pleasing uh, at times because of that, because of his willingness to fight that way. Most definitely, and because of the hand speed. Count of right hand from Donaire after Nishioka lands the left. Donaire shoots a straight right. Good left hand on this shit. Yeah, he steps in with a little combination to the chin of Donaire. Donaire answers back with the right hand. Boy, what is Nishioka seeing in which, as defensive as he was through the first five, he has opened up a little more offensively? Well, he hasn't lost in eight years. He doesn't really want to lose tonight. I mean, don't make no mistake about it. He is truly a winner. He didn't come all the way over here to lose the fight. So now that he's at it, He's feeling like, since I'm in here, I'm getting hit. Wow, uh, there they go, opening up power shot. Nishioka is throwing home run bombs, and he's willing to take them to try to land his own. It's not a bad idea. Not bad at all. And Donaire has to be careful walking in and throwing that left uppercut, too. So Nishioka starting to let that left hand go here near the Stop end of the round number eight.
three. Okay, see, when you, when you set those three punch, three punch combinations, you're landing, you're hurting them really bad. But you know what you gotta do? You gotta sit on your, on your pat, pat your feet and bend your knees, and that's when your three punch combinations land, and that's when you got the power. Left, left, uh -huh. left. Mito, mito. Mito, left. Just like, just like there's practice. No left straight. Ah. Yes. Pacey knows you're there. Coming right behind with a counter left hook. Followed by a straight right hand on Oshioko. He thought he was out of range, but he wasn't. But he's so com so concerned about the power of the left hook that he's leaving himself open open for the straight right. Ah. Round number nine underway for Nomiko Donaire and Koshiaki Nishioka. According to coffee box in the last round, Nishioka's 44 punches thrown, his high water mark in the fight, and his nine connects his high water mark. And Donaire gets flipped down. No knockdown, says Roel Kai Sr., the referee. I've never seen that before. I've Me. never seen a guy do a 360 in a being pushed down, spun down. I think their knees may have banged. Early in the fight, Donaire's right knee bang too. You're wondering about late power. Noshiaki has three knockouts in his career after the eighth round. Donaire has none. Nishioka now with purposeful aggression, trying to get in position to punch. Pumps out that jab again, does Nishioka. Left hand to the body by Donaire, scored. That one is blocked. Nishioka steps in with a combination. And this is what Nishioka starts to do around the oh. oh, down goes Nishioka from a counter shot. Four, five, six, seven. You sure you're okay, eight. Coming into this body, he's been down three times in his career, down twice, and now the referee steps in and stops it. And that was the... That was the straight right hand that Donaire promised. Nishioka's corner jumped in to protect him. Now, the corner jumped in. We're told they stopped it. Everybody else, let, let the doctor see the fight. Okay. And Onito Donaire, win number 30, stoppage number 19. This yoga does not speak English. He speaks English. He speaks Spanish. He speaks English. Yeah. Being told that the corner of Nishioka stepped in to stop the fight. Get confirmation on that in just a second. Here's the counter shot from Donaire, Roy. Yeah, he allowed Nishioka to open up some by backing up. And once Nishioka did, he made himself wide open for the left, for the straight right hand, which he really had been all night long had he been on the attack. But because he was staying back so much, it was harder for Nonito to hit him with it. Now he's bringing the pressure, bringing his face to Nonito, and Nonito just comes right out of that faint with a straight right hand. Bam, right on the chin, down goes Nishioka. Second time in the fight, Nishioka was down. Here's Raul Caiz, senior, giving the count. Now he looks over, gets ready to begin the action, and lets it continue, and then steps in and stops it. 
So Nonito Donaire with his 30th win. Just on a kind of pedestrian first five rounds that Nishioka elected to make it more of a fight in the sixth round. Nishioka got dropped in the sixth and then dropped again in the ninth. Anytime he chose to truly fight back, he got dropped. For the official time of the stoppage, once again, we send it up to Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Raul Caiz Sr. steps in and calls a halt to the bout. The official time, of one minute, 54 seconds of round number nine. The winner by TKO victory and still the WBO Junior Featherweight Champion of the World, the Filipino Flash, Nonito Donia. Nonito Donaire finishes off Toshiaka Nishioka in the ninth round as we take a look at the total punch numbers in the fight. You see that Donaire landed 134 of 485. Nishioka just not busy enough in this fight. He only averaged throwing 22 punches per round. In the power category, again, dominance by Donaire. That was the key. And of course, that straight right hand in the ninth round finishes off Nishioka. So Nonito Donaire picks up win number 30. He's in the ring with Max Kellerman. Nonito, how do you feel about this performance tonight? Well, first of all, I want to thank everybody that's here. Uh, people from Carson, LA, San Diego, especially the Bay Area and Vegas, you know, and all the people from Japan who came up, you know, fly over here and give support to Nishoka and this boxing. Domarigato gozaimasu and to all the, the fans, thank you. Um, how do you feel about the fight? Nishoko is a great fighter. That's why we're kind of weary about it because I know we know that we can end the fight with one punch And that's what happened. We just want to make that mistake and if we make that mistake They'll get us and that's what happened. He made the mistake to reach in I got him with the uppercut my hand was hurting a little bit So I couldn't finish him off and then I have to go with my right the left hand was hurt the left hand for the uppercut That's why I stopped throwing it and started to slow down in the middle. It wasn't because I was tired It was because I needed a different strategy Narvaez was a top fighter. He didn't really try to win Nishioka's a top fighter. Until he got dropped, it didn't look like he was really trying to fight you. Once you dropped him, he started fighting you and you knocked him out. Why won't these guys engage with you? Well, when you do engage and you open up yourself, Nonito is a surgeon. I can pick up my part, and then once that surgeon comes in, the demolition man comes in and knocks people out. But it did seem as though tonight you were taking what he gave you, not trying to do too much, as may have been the case recently, was that a strategy coming in? Tell us about it. Um, like I said, going back to the rules, using that jab, using the speed. And that's what we wanted to do. You know, I'm not completely there yet, but, you know, the leg was starting to move. The combination started to flow. But, you know, we need more. And we always get better every time we fight a good fighter like Nishioka. All right, you told us to watch for the right hand and tell us what you see. Well, people thought that I was, you know, I was just playing possum to see what he'll do. And I wanted to open him up and time that jab like I always did, you know, working with Brian Swartz, my other coach. And that's what exactly what happened, was time that straight like we did, and, and we made it happen, and that was it. Okay, Nonito, these top fighters at 122 so far are not really challenging you. It's not a question as to who's going to win the fight. You're dominating them, with the exception of maybe of Matabula, whose jaw you fractured. Who are you looking at right now as the target? All of the above. At this point, I got the guy that I thought was the best in this division, and that was Nishoka. Anybody, anybody, it's free for all. Whoever wants it, let's go. There are fighters in your division with high profile, guys who people think would give you a good fight, but you're not with the same promoters. Does that mean you will move up and out of the division, or do you want to fight those fighters? If we can make those fights happen, you know, I've waited for a long time, and I know how it is to be waiting for somebody. If we can make it happen, I want to move up in the division, and that's up to Bob and, and HBO and you guys. You always get a little annoyed at me when I bring up Rigandau. No, you know but what? he is with you, your promoter, and hardcore fight fans would love to see it. Listen, Max, I'm just giving you a hard time. You know how it is. 
you know, I love you, man. But, um, you know, to tell you, to, to be honest with you, like I said, you know, I believe that he needs more guys to make me excited. You mean, I have to be excited for the fight or else I, I'm gonna get bored. Like, have you seen the last few fights? You know, this fight, I was so aware, so focused because I know what this guy have and I want to feel that going in the ring that, that this guy is challenging me. And I, I, I have, and I have confidence that this guy is a good fighter. They got to prove themselves for me to go at it. Thanks, Nonito, and congratulations. Thank you, HBO and Top Rank. Thank you guys for this opportunity.